I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hello, and welcome to another uh, virtual reality experience. I'm I'm Aaron, and this is Daniel. That's correct. Um, we're playing Res Infinite. I always forget to look over at you before, like, you put on the thing. So I just turn, like, it's you, and then I turn away, and then I look back, and it's fucking tronified Hanson <laughs> with, like, the fucking, oh, God. <laughs> I know, and I just want to hit it. I, I just want to hit the thing. So I really I really wish there was a way that it could, like, read where you are and make, like, a digital Dan. Oh, that'd be really so cool. I could just look over here and be like, hey, Dan. That's the next step. Um, can yeah, I, digital Dan's. <laughs> can, I, can I touch a part of your body? But I won't let you know when it is going to happen okay. or what part of the body it's going to be. All right, go ahead. All right. <laughs> I already got the chills. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst. Uh, we're playing. We're playing Res. What if it was like a really slow, like, oh, oh no. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> And then a punch to the face. Go the on. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to touch you in two places. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is Rez. Uh, this is a re-release of a Dreamcast game called Rez. A Dreamcast game? Yeah. Wow. Um, it was the only game to come with a trance vibrator. That, uh, what does that mean? Does that excite you? I don't know. It's, um, it, was a, it was a little add-on. You'd plug it into the Dreamcast controller. Then the wire would attach to a dildo-shaped vibrator. Are you fucking kidding me? So you're- Is that right? So you're, um... You could feel the grooves of the game. Are you serious? You could really, really feel them. How? By sitting on it. <laughs> it did not. It, did it was, not it was literally it. made for girlfriends. Like, that you would play be. Res, and then your girl would be like, Oh my fucking god. That's impossible. There's no, you're fucking with me I right am now. not at all. Really? I am 100% serious. Look up Trance Vibrator. Trance Vibrator? Res. The vibrator so strong that it puts you in a trance? <laughs> well, it's because this is like I trance music. You. I don't believe Anyway, we're, we're playing Res. You look it up! Fucking look it up! Put it on the screen! Boom! There it is. Trance Vibrator. Wow, I can't believe it. I'm assuming it got put up on the screen. It did. Okay. All right. All right. Let's play this. We're playing Area One. I um, I'm hoping I don't get barfy. Whoa. Oh God, I'm getting barfy. Just looking at it. So th this this is a music rail shooter. Yeah, it sounds great. Well, so oh, oh, you're, now you're the making the music by like shooting stuff. Oh, kind of a nice like, like a nice slow groove. Yeah. Well, it it, it builds up, obviously. Yeah. This is like the beginning. But oh my God, I'm actually here. Oh, dude. This I remember, must be crazy, actually. I remember when people were like, Oh my god, Rez on the VR, it's gonna be so good. It's like, whoa, that was cool. Um, it's- it's just- I don't know, there's- it doesn't- <laughs> ah! It's the hands are cold, too. That's- that's what makes it so much worse. It doesn't add much. I don't know. Really? Yeah, like, I can look over here and shit. I guess it's cool that, like... Oh, actually, it will be nice, cause, um... Cause I can look and, like, target over here. That's cool. Cool. I'm just happy no no one's coming to fucking chainsaw your hand off. Oh yeah, that that is very nice. Like God, th Resident you, Evil gave me nightmares you for said like you, a couple yeah, of days. Yeah, you had nightmares. I, yeah, did you not? No. Oh man, like my imagination is just way overactive, and like whenever um, excuse me, little mic adjustment. Whenever I uh, watch scary shit like that, it always freaks me out, especially if like. You get attached to the characters in any way. And because I, I mean, even though that girl was like, her mouth was like kind of weird, like she's like, hey, baby, I miss you, baby. You like that kind of oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Like very video game character. Oh, so you got like Uncanny Valley scary. What does that mean? Uncanny Valley? I don't know what it means. Oh, it's it's this uh, theory. I mean, it's basically a fact, but um, that like. The closer you get to a realistic human sim simulation, mm -hmm. there's like a dip of um, like like it's like oh okay this is getting more and more real this is more and more real this is more and more real and then suddenly like right before it gets like 100% realistic, uh -huh. it takes a massive dip into creepy. Really? Yeah. So like it makes you really unsettled and you're like ooh ooh oh I don't want to look at this. That's why I like a lot of like. Robots and shit when you look at their faces and everything you're like, ooh, oh, it's the oh. un uncanny valley So like if it was more perfect it wouldn't bother me as much, but because it's slightly off But yes. very close. That's what's yeah, that makes sense plus like just like she seemed like a nice girl and Just things didn't work out for her that well 
Oh, I can control the target with my vi my vision. No shit. That's cool. So I can just look at shit and shoot them. Oh, that's crazy that's town. That's very Moravitzy. Yeah. <laughs> Mar Moravitzy? Yeah. He, 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 Aaron's referring to our buddy Justin Moravitz, uh, who created Proton Pulse. Um, which, I guess that episode would have gone up by now. Yeah. But anytime, anytime we encounter something in a game, uh, that reminds us of his style, it's Moravitzy. <laughs> I don't know if we've ever told him that. No. Nah. Well, now uh, he knows now. I just coined the term. It's, <laughs> it's a thing now. Yeah. Controlling the cursor with your face is a Moravitzy thing. Um, <laughs> but you were talking about nightmares earlier. I, yeah. uh, yeah, for me it's like... It's not like typical scary shit, because like Resident Evil is pretty typical scary. It's like, oh, she's coming at me with a knife. Right. Um, let me tell you about a nightmare I had recently. Oh god. Uh, I'd hate that. I was going on a road trip that lasted like hours, and I was just with some random girl I didn't know, and I was with like a group of people, and I didn't really know them. Um, but the girl was significant because uh, she was going on this road trip to get like a body tattoo from somebody, mm -hmm. and then we went. This, this is hours and hours. It felt like at least. That we were just like doing random shit on the road and just like stopping at McDonald's and shit, and then uh, and then s we got to the place to get the body tattoo, and she sat down and the guy was like, "All right, take off your shirt," and so she took off her shirt and she was sitting in a chair, and then like like a like a film, it was like trained on the tattoo artist's face, and it just like zoomed right in, like right in his face, and he just went barnacles, <laughs> and 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 then it cut, and then it it it. <laughs> It whip panned back to <laughs> the girl sitting in the chair and her and then fucking like snap zoomed into her uh -huh. and her chest. Right. She didn't have boobs, she just had barnacles all over. And then her like face stretched open and she just went like Aah! and then like the whole world just immediately shifted into this like nightmare scape with this like what giant fuck? fucking creepy ass like tree monster in the background. Oh my god. And there's god. and there was like this this Chinese myth dragon who was like gray and white and had like black spots all over it and a giant creepy ass mouth was just oh. flying directly in my face. That's what my nightmares are like. Wow. That sounds like a bad drug trip where like things are good, like like I've had, I've never done acid myself, but friends who have done acid say like, you know, like it's super cool, it's super cool, and I'm just like hanging out. I'm like that's a weird pattern on the wall, and then it's a thousand dead baby faces, <laughs> you know, like I'm just like what? That sounds terrible. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, pass, pass on, pass on that hallucinogen. I woke up and I was like, oh man, I would love to make the Barnacles movie. Where it's just like an hour and a half of just like a nice road trip where you get to know these people and the world just completely <laughs> turns into a crazy nightmare scape. It's like a rom-com right up until yeah. that point. Oh, hey. here's a little proof of the trans vibrator. The controller is doing oh, it. Oh, shit. Yeah. There you go. I'll give this back in a second. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. All right, all right, all right. Uh, oh, is this like a cutscene? N no, no, I don't know. You weren't doing that? I, I just put it in my crotchal region. You know what I had a nightmare about? What's that? We were, um... We were recording a show, but like people could see our faces yeah. instead of the normal, uh, whatever Game Grumps format. Right. And I was drinking a delicious, refreshing Coca Cola, and then Coca Cola gave us a brand deal. What? That's that sounds like a a dream come true. <sighs> oh God, I don't know. I don't know. Do dreams come true? Is that a nightmare for you? Do they come true, Coca Cola? Oh, oh I got hit. I'm just kidding. When you get hit, you lose like graphics. Uh, what oh, does that is, mean? This is actually very tough. What do you mean you lose graphics? Like, I'm a little ball now, you see? <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah! I used to be, uh, like a man. I used to be a little man. <laughs> used to be a man with no balls, and now you're just a single ball. Yeah. I used to be like a man. Remember that? Remember that Mad TV sketch? What? No. You look uh, like a man. Mrs. Swan. <laughs> I do not remember. You don't remember that? No. They're like the little, the little Asian lady, where she. Like, I remember Miss Swan. Yeah. I just don't remember like specific. And then, and then they're like, like a cop comes in because she like called the cops, and it was like, like somebody like, uh, robbed shit from her store, and and they're like, what did he look like? And he's like, oh, you know, he look uh, like a man. Oh. And like that was the whole bit. Oh yeah, that's right. And that's then they're right. like, well, was he tall? And, it, and she's like, oh yeah, yeah, tall, like a man. <laughs> <laughs> that's the woman who does Lois's voice on Family Guy. Yes, right? Alex yeah. Bors Bornstein. Bornstein, she's yeah. she's funny. Very um, much so. Yeah, 
is is God, I forgot about that. Would Miss Swan not be appreciated these days? Because it's like racist? Yeah. Um, probably. It's crazy like how much feelings uh, on stuff like that have changed even since the 90s. Because Mad TV doesn't feel like that long ago. Mad TV was canceled in like 2007, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. My God. It's 10 years ago. Really lurched on for an extra seven years that I don't even remember. Yeah. Well, it was interesting too because it wasn't like... It wasn't like SNL where it had like a regularly rotating cast. It was like pretty much the same people. Yeah. The whole time. Yeah. Which, which is cool. It was that tall Michael guy doing the Stuart character for 17 years. Yeah. Stuart? <laughs> Love that character. Do you really? Can't get enough of him. What could I can do? Remember, remember the whole bit about him was that he was like a little kid and he went, he said things that kids would say? Yeah. It's <laughs> pretty sweet. Yeah. Are you doing things to me physically? No, 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 I'm just dancing. Oh, okay. I'm just feeling it. Cool. It's, it's actually like a weird... This game is, like, hard not to groove to. Yeah. It's, I, al it's also kind of because, like, the camera shakes a lot, and I'm like, if I shake with it, then I won't get as barfy. I, uh... This was one of the first video game soundtracks I owned. No shit. Yeah. Whoa. I think the first video game soundtrack I owned was, like, Guilty Gear. I don't even know what that is. It's a fighting game, and the music and the graphics and the characters and the story were all done by one dude. Whoa, really? Like the whole game was like one dude. Like an Eric Shahi kind of situation? Sort of, yeah. That's awesome. His name is Daisuke. Daisuke. And he did like the voice of the main character too. Pretty cool. That is cool. It yeah. wasn't Daisuke Matsuzaka, the pitcher for the Boston Red Sox, because if it was, that guy does everything. Uh, no. I actually right. forgot his full name. Daisuke something or other. Daisuke is a first name, right? That's yes. not a last name. Okay. I, so. I always get confused because... They do it backwards? Yes. That's your problem. <laughs> yeah. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Can I tell you my favorite part of having Michael Ian Black on the show? What was that? Um, like, we, the thing you've been waiting to tell him your whole life, that you loved his pizza sketch so much, yeah. he was super distracted by Birthday Party Bash, <laughs> and it just kind of went over it, like, didn't go over his head, it just kind of went past him, you yeah. know, and he was like trying to figure out controls. I was like, oh man, there was, there was Aaron's moment. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, I, he doesn't either. Yeah. I think I'm the only one that registered that whole situation. Because uh, uh, I remember we talked about What Hot American Summer were there, and he was like way into it. Dude, he was the fucking chillest dude. Yeah. I loved having him. No, my favorite part was afterwards when like, you, you had left the room, mm -hmm. and then... I don't remember what triggered it, but I was I was like, oh man, you know, hope you had a good time. And he was like, oh no, I loved it. You guys are very funny. And I was like, oh! <gasps> <laughs> Such a good feeling, man, when yeah. like your heroes respect what you do. Um, whoa. He said he is now a fan. That is fucking awesome. He, he came on because his son is a fan and he is now a fan. What a, what a nice thing to say. He like definitely did not have to say that. What a bro. To totes what a, bro. What a fucking bro. Wish I could draw. I, I almost said I wish I could draw on a mustache like him. I wish I could grow a mustache like him. <laughs> I would have to draw on a mustache to have one like him. My mustache is all different colors now. It's what brings <laughs> all the voice of the yard. That's right. And they're like, oh, it, did you ever hear the Pokemon damn version? Right. It's like <laughs> the one that's like, uh, my my Pokemon brings all the boys to the yard, and they're like, "You want to trade cards?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can keep it. It's a Charizard. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my God! This is going crazy yeah, right now. Yeah, that's a lot of. Ooh. You feel the speed? It's actually not making me sick. No, it's it's weirdly very. I think it's because it's the backgrounds are so sparse that like like with Resident Evil, there's so much to look at and so many like. And you, and you know the danger is coming from all directions. Like, this kind of feels like... This kind of feels like what... This is like Lawnmower Man virtual reality, you know? <laughs> yeah, look at me. I'm like level 3 right now, so I'm not... I have like limbs and shit. Yeah. Or are you becoming more of a human being? Yeah. If as I, if time I get goes on? another level, I think I'll become like a fully formed, like, 3D model of a person. Oh my god. Yeah. Pretty cool, right? It is cool. Give me more. Give me that delicious kush ball. 
Koosh balls. Yeah. Oh man. Do you remember Rosie O'Donnell when she would she would fling Koosh balls into the audience? That was cool, right? Rosie, did she have a show? Yeah, dude, the fucking Rosie O'Donnell show. She was in that. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, it was her um. Ah, oh, see, look, now I'm a person. Whoa, that's crazy. Yeah. Look at your weird flipper feet. Always grooving. Always grooving. Oh, always grooving. Always moving. Always grooving. This is level two, by the way. Is it level two? Yeah. But Ari level area nine. two. This is uh, le level nine of area two. Got it. Yeah. I, I died on the boss of the first one, so I figured, eh, why not do this one? It's is cool because they know the value of this game isn't it exactly the the um, the challenge of it, but just like God, man. Like, ooh, look at oh, look it, all the uh, colors. This is really trippy. Has there ever been anybody who's done? I mean, I'm sure there has, but like somebody who's done like LSD and then played this. I uh, I don't know, Aaron. <laughs> I'll ask everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Please get back to me with the results. <laughs> It's I, well. It's this is trippy for me because I used to play that um, that Star Wars arcade game from oh, like yeah. '83 with the vector, the vector graphics. graphics yeah. so this really feels like the the successor to that. Gee whiz. Whoa. Fuck. Hard. Is it? The bosses are hard. The rest of the game is easy, but no shit. Yeah. I gotta go through the wall, dude. Oh god. Oh god, no. Yeah, suck me off, bitch. Give me a give me a sweet, tasty blow job. No teeth, no teeth. <laughs> what? I don't know, I just It's like it was so fast from the time when you established that a blow job was happening to like, oh god, no teeth. <laughs> it's like she went in like all teeth. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. There you go. Imagine that. Too much jaw movement? Yeah. Oh, God, that's terrifying. Fuck you. Fuck you. I don't have- Oh, okay, I have to keep doing that one. I get it. Look at him, he's like a little squid! Yeah. He's gonna grab me with his squid arms, I don't like living, it. It's a breathing, mechanical thing. It's not breathing. Okay. I wouldn't even say it's living, living either. Are they, like, going behind me? I'd barely or? say it's a thing. Sort of. Maybe a little bit of a thing. So, you were telling me that I was screwing up the capture when I- when I was playing Proton Pulse and I turned backwards? What? Was that oh, just- Oh, um, I'm assuming the- the- well, yeah, okay, so... The PS4 VR, I'm assuming, mm -hmm. because it has lights on the back, um, it has sensors on the back, so you can actually turn 180 degrees upward. Yeah, 360 degrees. Really? Um, and it'll read you, uh, because it knows, like, what's the front and what's the back. Sure. The camera, because there's only one camera in the front. Mm -hmm. Um, but your hair... Is is like so all over the place uh -huh. that it was like blocking the sensors. Oh, oh, yeah. I, I shouldn't have pulled it out. But I mean, what am I supposed to do with this? It's too. It's too. There's too much for a man bun. I've I've tried. Just makes it look like I. What do you mean? There's too much for a man bun. You can make a man bun with any. I had super long hair for a while. That's why I had a man bun. Because the ponytail was hitting my neck. Just too chunky and unruly. It explodes outwards. It would be the perfect for a man. You had a man bun when we did the fucking uh, the bomb defusal. Oh yeah, that's right. That was very theory. uncomfortable. It also, it's funny to watch you have a serious conversation while your head shakes around wildly. Like, oh, yeah. of course you can have a man, but <laughs> I mean, no problem. I, it's it's tough, man. You got to concentrate on two different worlds. I, completely I am understand. I am in between two different worlds right now. I'm that in the true. real world and the make believe world. Yeah, the real world's about to get a lot more real. Once uh, genitalia gets pulled out and placed in oh. regions on your body, are you gonna do that? No. Like, why? That's that's fucking cool, dude. What if I just like boiled a hot dog and then like gently <laughs> placed it in your ear? Well, I think I would smell the hot dog water. Oh, mmm, hot dog water. Which, by the way, is not. Oh, are these like hurting me? That's my oh, favorite get away, get biscuit away. album. Hurting me? No, chocolate starfish in the hot dog flavored water. <laughs> you don't remember that? No, that's not real. He's like, chocolate starfish! I'm not making that up. What? No, I've never actually heard that album, but how could you not love it with a title like that? Oh my god, they're coming right at me, dude. Yeah. This is so much. Ah, uh, it's so stressful. 
God damn it! I can't move my head fast enough! Kill them all! Kill the men! Wow, okay, now I'm getting barfy. It's finally happening. Jesus, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's, it's tough, because I'll try to keep my head stable and use the controller. Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh, Lord, I'm out there on my soul. Oh, Lord, I'm out there. Yeah, I said, yeah, I said, my, my, my soul, my soul. <laughs> my baby girl, my baby girl, I see. Did I get him or did I die? What are you doing to me? Nothing. You're doing something. I'm not doing anything. What, your, your silence <laughs> indicates something of doing. That's crazy. I did it, area two. You're talking crazy. Yay! Yay! Anal, anal, analyzation. <laughs> Shot down. Wow, I got almost everything. Well, hooray! I guess it's time for next time on Game Grumps. It sure is. Way Thanks to go. Thanks for joining you... us on this resenture. Yeah, this was... <laughs> did, did it actually say that, or did you make that up? No, I made it up. It's pretty good. Hold on. Okay. What, what are you doing? What's up? I'm not doing anything. You were doing something. I was doing nothing. Yeah, you were.